What's good with y'all? Shout out to my day ones, cause y'all already know it's plug season is upon us. 2K21 season is upon us. Tomorrow morning, there will be players playing NBA 2K21 early as they are in different parts of the world. Some players are in Australia. They get the game before everybody else, it seems like. You know what I mean? Before us in the US get to play the game. So a lot of us will be playing at night, but there will be players playing early in the morning and I will be streaming that for y'all to see. I will be streaming gameplay of players playing NBA 2K21 part gameplay so y'all can see it. So if you want to see that, be sure to like this video, pull up tomorrow, I'll schedule the stream for the morning time. But with that being said, it's a very critical day tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? It's very, very important that I want y'all to be careful because you know, a lot, pretty much everybody that's getting the game is going to be creating a new build. So before you create a new build, right? It might be wise for you to watch some of these game plays and these players that have the game early so you can actually see what the game is like. The game will not be like the demo. The game has been updated, it has been patched already prior to the demo being released. So, with that being said, I know most of y'all, if not all of y'all, are familiar with the YouTuber Ticino, the Twitch streamer Ticino. He gets the game early pretty much every year because I believe he is in New Zealand. So, they get the game much earlier before us in the u.s get to play it he's already confirmed that he'll be streaming for about 16 hours straight so he's going to be on the grind and i'll be streaming on youtube most likely watching his gameplay because you know i definitely like his style and as well as i play with the shot creator so all of our shot creators if you're making a shot creator it's very important that you watch this stream you know what i'm saying so we can see how they're gonna play so we can see if they can hit the phase like we want them to so we can see how the shot stick works so we can see the dribble moves the animations the cheese all the type of stuff with no badges you know what i'm saying so a lot of the times i know he plays the game he goes straight to the park and grinds his player up with no badges so i will have that on here for you now what's next is if you get in the game and you play you will be playing tomorrow it's important that majority of y'all don't go to the park with no badges and destroy y'all records because you want to have a good record if your player cards are still visible which i'm assuming that they will be because you want to be able to get games with players who are hopefully good because record isn't everything but a lot of the time it's easier to get games with better players if you have a good record especially if you have a nice build so you want to make sure you create a nice build that people want to play with and don't go out there and jack your record on the first day the game comes out because you know i mean while it might not be hard to build up on the first day but when the game first drops players are really picky about who they want to play with because they care about their records so much it's very very insane it's very very ridiculous sometimes it's even annoying so next y'all it's that time of the year where we gotta grind our players out all over again from scratch so i know y'all gonna want to see videos of how to get the badges the fastest i know y'all going to see videos of how to get y'all bc and upgrade y'all bc the fastest and upgrade y'all attributes and get the 99 overall i know y'all gonna want to see all these videos and i'm here to let y'all know they will be here it's plug season for a reason and i'm not gonna let y'all down every year this is my time of the year this is where i shine you know what i'm saying this is what i do so i'm gonna come through for y'all once again don't y'all worry that'll be probably the first thing i do after i create my mile player after I watch the streams earlier and stream for y'all, when the game drops, I'll get the game. I may stream me playing the game or I might just play it. I'm not sure yet, but I might stream it. But I know I will have to be creating my character and grind my badges. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. And as I grind my badges, you know, I'm definitely going to try to figure out the fastest way to get the badges. I'm going to try to figure out the fastest way to get VC because usually when the game first drops, that's when the best things and the best methods and glitches are in the game. Now, with that being said, 2K21 has been copied and pasted over to a certain extent. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a lot of new things. But with there being a new my career, I do feel that there will be some advantages that you could take playing my career to get badges and to get VC. Just like there was last year, just like there is every year in NBA 2K. So y'all definitely be aware of that. If you uh, definitely want to grind your badges the fastest and upgrade your player as fast as possible because we all know that it's easy to grind badges on here at the beginning when the game is new, but the game might not feel as new 
since it's going to be similar to 2K20. You know, it might feel like you're grinding your 2K20 mile play route again. So keep that in mind. Now, the next thing I want y'all to do is keep in mind that y'all, my players will not be transferring over to next gen if you will be getting next gen and playing NBA 2K21 on next gen. So, if that's the case, VC transfers over. Don't be just jacking off VC on dumb stuff, to be honest. Now, if you got the Mamba edition, of course you get 100k on this generation and you get 100k on the next generation if you buy since you bought it on current gen. So that's very important to keep in mind because when next gen comes out, there is no reason why you shouldn't have enough VC to fully upgrade at least one player because you could grind your VC up right now on current gen. As soon as the game drops, you can start grinding VC. Now, of course, you're going to manage to make a my player and then you got some of our my team guys who are going to spend VC and my team, which leads me to my next point. My team, guys. If you play my team, and I'm pretty sure a lot of park players play my team as well. So don't get me wrong. So a lot of us might be in both sides of the community. We might go back and forth. If you like me, I do play my team, and I do play in the park. Now, since my team carries over, that will give us a little bit more incentive to play my team in NBA 2K21 on current gen consoles because your cards and stuff will actually carry over, and you won't have to start from scratch. You won't be kind of just wasting your DC in a sense because some of y'all might play the current gen version when, when 2k21 drops on next gen and some of y'all might be done with it forever so definitely think about that when you play in my team and when you spend in bc don't go to the park now i seen today in the park in swag they're gonna have a lot of nice dope clothes they pulled it up they dropped it on twitter i believe i seen the marathon closing rest in peace rest in peace nipsey hustle i seen some vape i seen some palm angels i seen a lot of dope brands so they coming after y'all pockets. Y'all be worried about that, man. Get y'all a couple fits here and there. Now, if you just want to go crazy and waste BC, then that's on you. Or buy it. Because I know a lot of y'all like VC glitches because y'all don't like wasting VC. Y'all don't like grinding for VC. And y'all don't especially like to buy VC. Nobody likes to buy VC. But, you know, hey, sometimes y'all got to do what y'all got to do. Now, with that being said, since you're already giving 100,000 BC, that should give you enough BC to, if you play my part, if you play my career to upgrade your character enough to make the grind in my career easy enough to grind up the rest of your attributes to so whatever builds you got. For example, I am a shot creator, right? So, shooting mid range, shooting threes with 100,000 VC, I should be able to max that out. I should be able to max those two categories out and then get extra somewhere else. And from that point forward, I should be able to grind up the rest of my attributes in my career or the park unless I want to buy VC. So that's how you should go about it. But that depends on what build you make. Whatever build you make, make sure you put up the attributes with the build that your build is going to be best at. It's going to be easy to rep up, get VC, and get stats in my career so that you can get the most VC possible to get your endorsements. Keep that in mind. We already talking to talking about getting endorsements because if you're watching this video, I want you to be ahead of the game, not behind. Also, now, I want y'all to keep in mind, tomorrow when you get NBA 2K21 and you start playing, there will most likely be a way, some way that you can skip the prelude by starting creating the my player and then just creating the second one and then just going straight to NBA. I want y'all to keep in mind that it might be better to just play through the prelude because it might be easier to progress your player in the prelude or the my career scene or whatnot. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, there's about to be a flood of build videos and coming claiming that this build is the best and that build is the best and this build can do this, this build can do that and this is the one that you should make. Understand that there is no such thing as a best build in the game. Honestly, it's a such thing as maybe the best lineup, you know, a toxic lineup, a best, you know, better lineup or whatnot, but there's really no such thing as a best build in the game. That might be a best shot creator build. That might be a best playmaking build. Might be a best glass cleaning build. Might be a best slashing build. But there is no best build in the game because all the builds this year are limited. So I say that to say this. When you create a player, create a player that you're going to enjoy playing with. That you're going to like playing with and that you're going to be good with. Don't make a player where you don't feel like you're very good or it doesn't fit your play style. You know, if you an alpha male type player on the game who just, you know, can take over the game and dribble like crazy can shoot off the dribble or you're just a player that want to slash at a basket 
get a player that fits your play style that you can be successful in the game so people want to actually play with you you know don't don't get nothing where you're not going to be good with it to be honest because not everybody is good with every build because it doesn't fit everybody's play style you know if you want to go out there and catch bodies don't make a sharp shooter but if you want to hit threes don't make a slasher be smart out here with what you do you know what i mean and also if you got a squad you know make sure y'all all create builds to complement each other so when y'all play together y'all have the best chance of winning most important that's your main squad if you got a main squad don't go out there with the same builds you know what i'm saying don't go out there without a defender or no big or something like that make sure you have a build that is future proof in 2k a build that'll be good patch after patch update after update and that can be tricky to figure out but you know some builds are going to always be good and i'm going to tell you those builds are definitely always going to be shot creators shot creators are always going to be good builds to have in the game because they can score offense is, is very important if you have a like high three and you can dribble you're going to always be able to win a game simple as that simple as that but anyways if y'all enjoyed this video y'all getting 2k tomorrow y'all like this video y'all hit that sub button y'all turn those notifications on until tomorrow i'm out